डॉक्टर सुमित बख्शी वेलकम बैक इन दिस वीडियो यू विल लर्न द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ सेंट्रल लिमिट थ्योरम इफ यू आर नॉट फेमिलियर विद द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ नॉर्मल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन देन प्लीज चेक आउट दैट वीडियो फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ सेंट्रल लिमिट थ्योरम आई विल गिव द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स बिलो फॉर नाउ लेट्स अंडरस्टैंड वॉट सेंट्रल लिमिट थियोरम इज वॉट आर दमशन ऑफ सेंट्रल लिमिट थियोरम वाई इट इज इंपॉर्टेंट थ्रू एन एग्जाम्पल suppose i have a positively skewed distribution with mean mu and standard deviation sigma for the concept of skewness you can check my other video from this distribution i will select 30 independent elements randomly i can select 30 elements from this distribution this selection should be independent that means selection of one element should not affect the selection of other element and this selection should be random let's say s1 is my first sample where x1 x2 x3 till x30 are its 30 elements which are selected independently and randomly where x1 bar is the mean of these 30 elements now i will select my second sample of 30 elements with or without replacement of these elements back in the distribution let's say x2 is my second sample where x1 x2 x3 till x30 are its 30 elements and x2 bar is mean of these 30 elements similarly i will select my third sample fourth sample fifth sample let's say i have selected 100 samples now my last sample 100 sample s100 elements of s s100 are x1 x2 x3 till x30 and mean is s x100 bar now if i will plot a histogram of these sample mean these x1 x2 x3 i am taking all these means and i am plotting a histogram out of these means what i'll see we will see these means are normally distributed so this is what the central limit theorem all about means of sample taken from a skewed distribution are not skewed distributed rather it are it is normally distributed this sample mean distribution has mean mu same mean as our distribution has it has same mean but standard deviation is sigma divided by square root of n where n is sample size here our n is 30 our sample size is 30 so n is sample size now central limit theorem says this is true in case of any population distribution so as n increases sample size increases sample mean of all these distribution whether it is uniform distribution whether it is exponential distribution whether it is skewed distribution or it is normal distribution or even bimodal distribution the mean sample mean distribution of sample means tend to be normally distributed as sample size increases so what is center limit theorem center limit theorem states that sample means of any distribution it is normal distributed skewed distributed exponential uniform or bimodal distribution with mean mu and standard deviation sigma are normally distributed when you take sufficiently large sample the mean and standard deviation of sample distribution will be mu and sigma divided by square root of n where n is sample size here are few assumptions of central limit theorem samples should be selected randomly samples should be independent of each other selection of one sample should not affect the other sample sample size should not be more than 10% of the population when sampling is done without replacement that means when we are not uh, putting back those elements which are we have selected in sample 1 while selecting sample 2 sample size should be sufficiently large if population is very skewed you need enough large sample if population is symmetric even small samples are acceptable in general the condition of sample size is n is greater than equal to 30 should be fulfilled 
as sample size increases sample mean distribution tends to be normally distributed now let me discuss why it is important although the concept of central limit theorem is very useful in real life and in other domains here i will discuss why it is important in statistics we can assume that sample distribution is normally distributed irrespective to any population distribution whether it is known or unknown this will allow researcher to use all those statistical techniques like t test and ova which requires samples to be normally distributed although the population distribution may or may not be normally distributed that's all thank you please press like button if you like my video and subscribe to dr sumit bakshi do not forget to share with your peers if you find it worth thank you